everybody and welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. And I'm here in my favorite room of my whole house and that is my pantry. But today, this Thrifty Thursday is going to take you a little bit on a project as well. I hope you stay tuned. Grandma's Diary, June 7th, 1942. Today, I was busy canning strawberries all day. Welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. And I'm going to share with you what I got this week. I have the camera a little bit positioned different because I want to show you close up what I bought. And that way you can see what for projects we're going to work on today. So I think I spent $6 today, and that is because I got a few items that I normally don't see. First thing I got was for 50 cents were these basket liners, and I'm going to use these for when I make my cheeseburgers and when I make all kinds of sandwiches, we're going to use these on a picnic. 50 cents, I got the kindness book, and it is a journal, and I'm really excited about it because I am going to photocopy some of these pages, and I'm going to use these on some upcoming journal projects. And then for 50 cents, I got what is called Lint Share. You put it, and it helps to collect all the lint off of your faucets and I'm going to use this and see if it works because we no longer have our filtering system and so I'm going to see what I can use this for. If I can't use it for this I can always use this to strain my herbs and things like that. So I got it for 50 cents and you know I'm going to show you when I use it. Also I got a microwave cleaner wipes for 25 cents. Now I don't have a microwave but I like to use these for my reusable cloths that I use and I did a video on that. So for 25 cents it's about, I think it's 8 of them. For 25 cents it's a lot cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And what is Thrifty Thursday without a book? Now I really did do very well. The last couple weeks I did not get books because I got all those books at the book sale. But I have a problem. I love to collect books. But I do use my books, so I guess it's, hmm, I guess it's okay, right? So they were half off for a dollar. called Heart and Soul Recipes from Family and Friends. And it was just so adorable. And so I can't wait to do some recipes with that as well. And now for the project you've all been waiting for, I'm sure. So for $1.40, I got seven napkins. These are cloth, they are brown, and we are going to make some more beeswax bowl covers. I've made this in a video, one of my first videos. Everybody liked it, and I thought, this is what I want it for. I thought, well, why do I not just make a video right away showing you how I make them? On most of my videos, I am trying to combine a lot of things. I'm combining my ideas plus I want to show you the project as well. So when I get something from Thrifty Thursday, I want you to see it in action and I want you to see it how I'm thinking about using it. Also, I'm going to take just one minute of your time to explain to you tomorrow's video on Friday is no longer going to be heart to heart. In fact, it is a special edition on my Fridays. My heart to hearts are moved to Sundays with my devotional. So those of you who wish to watch my heart to hearts and my devotionals will watch them all in one video. So Monday through fi Friday, it's going to be videos where I am doing projects, whether it's in the kitchen, whether it's in the laundry, whether it's in the pantry. You are gonna see my projects from Monday through Friday. Saturday is gonna be my vlogs. You get to go with me for the day and see what I'm doing that day. And Sundays will be my video where I share my heart to heart and I share my devotions. So that is how we're going to do it from now on. And I think I have a lot of feedback. I have a lot of great ideas from people. Also, if you don't know, the community tab on my channel is where I share 
new ideas and upcoming events. So in case you don't feel like you're in the loop, that's where everything is shared. So let's get started and making bees wax bowl cover. I forgot to show you what else I got. Oh my word. Okay, well let's quick show you because it's nothing special, but I want to show you because, okay girls and okay guys, ta-da! 50 cents, do you guys know what it's for? I bet you do. And in case I didn't have the right size, for 50 cents, I got this one too. No more kettle with the lid on, with the plate on top of it as a lid. Woohoo, there we go. So, I'm hoping one of these lids fit. Should we go and find out? Let's go find out and let's go make our beeswax bowl covers. So why are we using the beeswax bowl covers? That way you don't have to use saran wrap and that way you don't have to buy over and over again. They work amazing. Well, I'll I show am you super duper work. happy. My one 50 cent lid. Fits my kettle, just perfect. Now the other one is a little bit too big, but actually, uh, this one even fits better, I think. Oh wow, well, there you go. Look at that, look at that. I am so super duper happy. So you know what, when you go to the thrift store, take a look for some lids, cause this just made my life a lot easier. First thing we want to do is we want to preheat our oven to 200. This is a quick project and it's a very fun project as well. Why are we going to all this trouble to make bowl covers? Well, did you watch Little House in the Prairie? Oftentimes you see their food covered with what you call cloth and they used to make bowl covers. So this is the cloth that we're going to work on today. Now, these are pretty big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the sides in. And I'm just going to show you how I do a couple. I'm not going to make all seven today, but I am going to show you how we make a couple of them. First thing we're going to do is get a hanger, and we're going to hang that right there to our cupboard door. We're going to take beeswax. And I have a link with it below if you want to know what for beeswax this is and what I use. So what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle beeswax all over our piece of cloth. Now you want to make sure you have cotton, you want to have a piece of cloth like that, you don't want to have anything that's plastic, no oil cloth. Essentially what we're making is an oil cloth. Now, if you have a smaller cloth, go ahead and go. don't fold the sides in. I'm just folding the sides in because I actually want to have a larger cloth like this. I don't have any this big. In fact, I didn't know until right now how big these napkins were. I thought they were just the typical size napkins. Well, these were a lot bigger. So we're going to spread it like that. You want to use an old cookie sheet. Do not use a cookie sheet that you would use for cooking. Use a cookie sheet that's old, like this one, that's rusted, Dollar Tree has them, and keep it for projects like this. Now you don't want to have too many, but you want to have enough to make it all melted. Now this video was very popular last year when I made it, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of new videos on these but I just adore them, I love them, I use them for all kinds of projects. All right, so now we're gonna put it in a 200 degree oven and essentially the beeswax is gonna melt. You wanna be really careful, you don't wanna have it in longer, you wanna watch it because you don't want the beeswax to burn. And it doesn't take long at all. Within five minutes, it will be all melted. Get it out of the oven, I'll show you what it looks like. There you go, my friends, totally melted. Now what we're gonna do is, we are going to hang it directly up and down on our clip. 
The reason why you want to hang it is because you want it to dry in that uniform. So let's go ahead and make sure we have it stretched very well. All right, so you're wondering how you can use it. It's stiff, it's stiff as a board. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two hands and you're just gonna hold it for a few seconds around the edge of the bowl. And your warmth of your hands will melt the beeswax just enough that it will cover your bowl perfectly. And I'm gonna lift it up and show you the indentation. You see the indentation of it? Um, in the olden days, they used a lot of string and they would tie it with string. But I use these all the time and I use them to cover my bowls and I put them in the refrigerator. All, all you gotta do is take them back and they will go straighten out, just like that. They will straighten out. Once again, you put it over top, you hold it down like this, any size bowl, any bowl you want, and it will form to that bowl. How do you wipe it? Wipe it clean. You just take a washcloth with some soap and you wipe it clean. I wouldn't use it for terribly messy jobs, but it's perfect for bread rising and it's perfect for all kinds of those jobs where you're cutting vegetables up and you're putting them in a bowl for the next day. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow.